Aquarius, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be a weekly general reading for the sign of Aquarius. General reading, it will not resonate with every Aquarius person out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, and Venus sign specific. This is for any Aquarius placement that you may have in your chart. Contact information as well as the link to your romance specific reading and the membership button is in the description box. This is also for the last week of August. All right, last week of August for Aquarius. What do they need to know? Time is linear though, we're all on different timelines. This could have already happened, maybe happening now or may happen in your future. Aquarius, messages for Aquarius. Y'all need to talk. <laughs> Somebody needs to say something and is refusing to. Three of Wands, Aquarius. I'm also going to pull some oracles for you at the end just to give you some more guidance for the week. Aquarius, what did they need to know? Last week of August. Already. I do only take jumpers as well. So patience is necessary. Aquarius. Perfect. Interesting. Bottom of the deck this week, Aquarius, we are looking at the Ace of Wands. Lots of fire energy for you this week. You could either definitely be dealing with a fire sign this week or just be harnessing a lot of fire energy or someone that is headed towards you is. I don't know, but there's a lot of fire going on here, which is beautiful, right? That warm, nice energy. But Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck, definitely some sexual energy here for some of you guys. Not necessarily, but there's definitely something that's going to get you excited this week. This is an opportunity. This is a, um, a suggestion that may have the possibility to get you very excited an opportunity for excitement an opportunity to feel passionate about something you know a reason to get up out of bed in the morning which is always nice let's see what you're getting into past position we are coming in with the three of wands and major arcana the judgment card so there is something you were probably expecting waiting for manifesting if there was something you have been manifesting if there was some sort of excitement some of you could definitely be the blatantly manifesting excitement, right? Looks like it's coming in, but it might be coming in from a situation that you thought might have been dead, right? Judgment call here. Judgment is the energy of the dead arising, right? Walking zombies, things we thought we buried and tucked away deep down, people, situations, places, coming back up for review, okay? This could definitely be something you're expecting. This is definitely could be something you've manifested, something you've wanted to revisit. Either way, it looks like there is something that is coming up for revision. All right. In your present position, we are coming in with more wands energy, fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy of the four of wands and the seven of wands. So this is, this is like exactly what it is because seven take away four is three. This is like right, right in alignment. Some of you are absolutely in alignment off the bat, progressing, whatever, whatever you're doing, whatever this is pertaining to a relationship or work, maybe it's definitely progressing is what I'm getting here. Okay. You go from the three for the four for the seven, three plus four is the seven. There is some sort of stable situation, some sort of celebration, some sort of milestone here. Okay. That is about to happen for you. Something that I feel like you fought very hard for. You stood your ground. You've cut who you had to cut off. You stopped what you had to stop. You defended yourself. You said no to things that you knew weren't aligned for you. And a lot of people might not be exactly in agreement with your decisions, right? But you got to do what you got to do because you were busy, busy, definitely busy, busy manifesting something. Some sort of stability, some sort of partnership, some sort of union with the Four of Wands, 11, 11, 11 energy. Definitely in alignment right now. Manifesting extremely, extremely high. Okay. Although, if this is something from the past, I think you also could be defensive from it. You might not be expecting that whatever it is that you've been manifesting is this thing from the past, right? Because some of you could just be manifesting new, which would speak to the Ace of Wands, something new to be excited about, right? 
and here comes this past sort of situation that you kind of already put to bed so you may be defensive over it because some of you have ended this cycle with this situation person place or thing but coming in your future position we have the nine of pentacles with the world card definitely it looks like your single days are over for most of you if you ask me okay nine of pentacles is an energy of very independent self-sufficient i can do bad all by myself male or female i can hold my own i pay my own bills i smell good because i buy my own perfume or cologne no one's buying it for me and I'm, and I'm just fine buying it for myself i prefer that actually i can control right my garden is 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 well manicured thank you very much but it looks like that might be ending not necessarily your independence but it maybe you might have someone else to be smelling good with world card is is major arcana stepping into a first a, a new a new way of being a new way of thinking a new way of living it could be just a new place some of you could definitely be moving as well but i definitely think for some of you there's something here that you've been manifesting something to be excited about definitely could be something that you might not expect it coming from a certain source but definitely the opportunity here to be in partnership especially with that four of wands energy getting engaged moving in together being in a committed relationship whatever stage you're at this is something you've definitely been waiting for some of you this is definitely is a engagement proposal you've been manifesting from your partner manifesting waiting moving in together you know making things more solid and it looks like it's gonna happen putting an end to your singleness you fought for this for the rest of you you've been single for a while doing very fine beating off anybody that doesn't measure up with a stick and you have been waiting and manifesting for the right situation but the right situation might be something you've already said goodbye to might cause a bit, a bit of defensiveness. What's under here? Page of Cups. Apology energy. Pisces energy as well. Something happening out of the blue. But this is definitely apology energy. Double confirming that this... Something to be excited about definitely could be someone you already know. A situation you're already familiar with. Aquarius. Last week of August. Two cards. Hummingbird spirit. Be here now. <laughs> So this is definitely telling me that there's a conversation coming. There's communication coming with the bird spirit. Birds are messengers. They bring messages. They bring communication, conversations, right? Be here now. I'm very much getting this as an energy of saying, you got to judge this person for what you're seeing them as now. Because we all go through shit, okay? We were all bad. We were all an asshole at some point in life. I'm not saying I'm not making excuses for anybody. You know your situation. If your shit's toxic as hell, this ain't for you right but this is for the other people where there might have been some bumps and kinks that had to have been worked out in the process so this person needs to be judged at face value as they are in their present be here now release the past image of yourself of them of the situation really really listen to what is being said to you also watch the body language as well right 99 not 99 80 percent communication nonverbal. you'll know Sacred Beetle, magic works through you, number 52, number 7, 4. So two 7s here, actually. 34 and 4 is a 7. 5 and 2 is a 7. Now, if that is not double jackpot, destined and fated events, my friend. This is definitely alignment as well. You also have 7 here, 7 wands, 7 here, right? 4 and 3 is 7, 7. Lots of 7s. Lots of sevens. All of y'all need to go and play the lotto. All Aquariuses. Some two more sevens. Magic works through you. So definitely something magical happening here that you probably do not expect. But magical nonetheless, Aquarius. Aquarius. More fire energy. A fiery climax approaches full moon in Aries. We just had a full moon could be happening around a full moon maybe by the next full moon you're gonna see evidence of this could be dealing with aries but lots of fire energy here a fiery climax approaches work your light for aquarius 
what do they need to know? Get grounded. Empaths, highly sensitive, connect with nature. I think this is just some guidance. If you are feeling defensive when the situation arises and you're not sure what to do, ground yourself. Allow yourself time to make whatever decision it is that you need to make. Get grounded. Or maybe this is the energy of the person that is also approaching it. Maybe they weren't grounded before. And definitely some grounding has happened since this ending. Because there definitely was an ending here. With whatever this is. But ultimately the choice is yours. We all have free will and we all have the right to exercise it. But this is a beautiful reading. 777. Okay, Aqua, I hope it resonates for all of you. Thumbs me up. Leave me a comment if it does. And I will see you all next week.